Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 6th to the 12th. So it's Scorpio season, right? Happy birthday. I hope you guys are having an incredible season. Uh, let's dive in. Let's see what's going on for you guys, all right? All right, please, for Scorpio. What's the message, please, for this week? Yeah, round and round. All right, it does speak of comic cycles. We have mending. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> those two together are not like not that they're bad cards but it does feel like you're breaking a cycle so for some of you you are breaking away from a comic energy like that can be a comic friend someone who's here to teach you a lesson um to break a cycle of something okay definitely here for a reason in your life regardless of who they are what they've done all right it, it just is something to break free from um for some of you this could even be like breaking free of a lesson to do with you and somebody else so that actually if this is a good person in your life so i'm not talking to abusive people you know like about abusive people sorry i'm speaking about um like friendships, for example, maybe there was just something that always caused you and someone to disconnect and now you're fi finding out what that is and learning the lesson and breaking free from that. You are breaking free from something that is showing itself as a very big lesson in your life. To break free from that cycle, maybe to mend, but it definitely does feel like it's to do with somebody else. All right, fixing an issue, fixing a problem or understanding what we need to do now to actually break free from something, okay? All right, let's get you another card for Scorpio, please. This is good for you because in your season, what you're doing is learning a very big lesson so that the next um, year of your life is going to be definitely about using this lesson and putting it into practice. So we will see what that is, what the lesson is. But let's see. For Scorpio, please. Joy. Beautiful. All right. Got lots of flowers here, yellow flowers, which represent happiness joy this kind of gives me sun card vibe so it does feel like psh, everything is clear there is happiness coming through for you there's joy fun times all right let's see growth a lot for a lot of you okay all right let's see present energy please for scorpio this week queen of cups I believe this is you regardless of gender the queen of cups is definitely in an empathic energy you guys could definitely be in your feels feeling grateful feeling sentimental all right maybe you have been a bit more emotional but maybe that's for a good reason um this is very much she's very intu intuitive so scorpio your your feelings could actually be telling you something and um, your intuition is definitely on point when it comes down to a situation here you're feeling more nurturing maybe feeling more emotional than what you would probably let yourself be you have a four of cups here as well which can sometimes be about rejection let's see what this is about let's see current energy please for scorpio i love that this is very nice by the way again that could be reconciliation for some of you maybe you're seeing something from a different point or maybe your intuition is telling you something about someone and it does feel like there is some reconciliation here between you and somebody else or meeting a soulmate definitely or again having really lovely times with a soulmate here friend family or if you're a lot of you a love interest some of you this is someone that you didn't really see as a love interest at first maybe it was like more of a friendship or maybe you were being quite picky with this person or vice versa it definitely is harmony and a, and a beautiful balance between you and somebody um maybe you're manifesting this in for those who are single but anyway we're going to move away from love because some people are just Actually, we're not going to do it on purpose. Let's move forward. Uh, you're in a very good state emotionally. You're balancing things. You're no longer jumping to conclusions or that's it. I'm done um, with anything. You're actually processing your feelings and, and understanding where, you know, where they're leading you when it comes down to situations around you. Let's see what the blockages are for Scorpio this week. The Three of Pentacles, which is interesting. This is usually about planning. Some of you guys might have a bit of a creative block this week. Maybe you guys are going a little bit off plan or maybe, you know, going a little bit off routine. Let's get one more. This is usually about building the foundations of something. So what the blockage is, let's see. High Priestess. This is usually, again, it's about intuition. Trust what your intuition is telling you about a plan. All right, or maybe to do with other people that are around you, maybe in the workspace or in a home, if you share a home with people. 
It does feel like a bit of a blockage when it comes down to collaboration. Let's clarify this. Let's see. Why is the Three of Pentacles here in a blockage? The Hermit. This tells me, maybe you're dealing with a Virgo here, but this tells me that there is a, some wisdom being shone onto a situation. And that is why it's coming up as a blockage. High Priestess here again. Some of you might feel like something is missing or like there is something that's hidden here in a situation. Clarify the High Priestess, please. Eight of Cups. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just get one more. Now, Eight of Cups is about walking away from something that's not fulfilling to find something that is. So some of you might need to trust your intuition when it comes down to maybe building with someone. Um, because your wisdom is saying, maybe this is not the best investment. This is not maybe the, the best plan. But some of you... All right, let's quickly clarify. Whoever this hermit is, is Seven of Cups here. There's a little bit of... Okay, there is something that I like to say usually and it's if something just doesn't add up it's because something is missing and that's what is coming through with this maybe someone's plan is some has something missing this could mean that you could add something to it all right maybe you're trying to work out what's missing towards a plan to make something work you might have to change things up a little bit try to you know maybe walk away from things that aren't working to you know figure out what does Some of you, if if someone's trying to push an agenda on you, then this is really about actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna spend some time alone. Like I don't really like this confusing energy. It feels like you can see that this is just maybe not just gonna work. This feels like to do with a collaboration or a friendship, for example. It doesn't feel like it's to do with love, unless it is. If that's the case, like there is something that you are aware of that's missing. By the way, you do have some people who are a bit jealous of you, Scorpio. Um, you know, if you try to deny something, I'm, I'm sensing that someone's like, what, you think you're better than everyone else? And it's like, ooh, where did that come from? Aren't we supposed to be friends? Like, what did someone's, okay, someone's true feelings are coming to light when you try to put wisdom onto a situation or try to advise someone. It's like, where did that come from? You know? And that could be what the high priestess is about as well. Like, Something feels weird with someone around you, for some of you. Could be a friend, could be a colleague, could be a family member with the Three of Pentacles, okay? But anyway, you're going to be figuring out what's kind of missing or what's kind of been a bit hidden. You guys are the Page of Swords, to be honest, as well. So some of you guys could be discovering your own kind of feelings internally. Maybe you are discovering why you feel a bit like pulled in different directions. When it comes down to building something, maybe you're actually understanding, maybe I don't actually want that. Maybe it's something you've always wanted. Now you have the opportunity to do it. You're like, actually, maybe not. I want something different. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Let's see what's going on or what happened in your recent past, please, for Scorpio. King of Pentacles. You have five of wands here, so there might have been a bit of conflict when it comes down to finances. This is a quite a good card. To be honest, could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but this feels like you've been very stable. You know what you want. You're in that energy. You embodied it. Let's get one more to clarify the King of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Yeah, this is about clarity. This is really about clarity. Victory as well. New beginnings, communication for some of you. Maybe you were communicated by an earth sign or someone who is financially stable. Maybe that's a job opportunity for some of you. you. May have heard from someone that you got accepted from someone. You have the Knight of Wands, so this is good for travel. By the way, this feels good as well for actually actually achieving something and learning and growing. You in the recent past, Scorpio, you've definitely felt more. I'm hearing lustful. Maybe you have been a little bit like. <laughs> passionate about things more lately or in the recent past anyway this is like a go-getter energy wanting freedom wanting to be free-spirited this is quite a nice combination because you were kind of stable secure you knew what you wanted you went and went to get go get it you know 
you have that creative space to, to be creative, to have false imagination and want to pursue those. So maybe in the blockage right now is that you're planning on building with someone and it just doesn't feel quite right. You know, someone wants to do something with you and it's like, mm, maybe not. I think you're a bit more mature than this person, whoever this is. And I don't think that they like, I think they are a bit jealous of you deep down. I don't know why. Maybe because it is the maturity. That page of swords energy, if I'm being honest, the initial O is coming in um, for anything. <laughs> Um, I'm hearing someone's favorite color could be orange, but anyway, let's move away from that. It just feels like someone is a bit intimidated by you. All right. In the near future, please, for Scorpio. Yeah, you have this beautiful energy coming back again. I like that. If you felt more emotional recently, sometimes that can really dampen the fire that we have like creativity and motivations maybe you have not been feeling like that around this time and in the future you are getting that back it feels like it's because you're seeing things differently you're becoming a lot more enlightened you're observing people's behavior and that's helping you to get clear on what it is that you want moving forward something flipped here and i have to find it there you go four of wands this is success celebration you will reach a goal in the near future this could be like completing a course getting good results on something it could be achieving a job role by the way promotion uh, this can also be really good for actually maybe traveling and finding a love interest by the way in some sort of party or through some sort of like activity that you do that it feels like you go out to do something and you meet someone or you gain some success from your like i'm hearing courage from your free spirit energy motivation let's see near future for scorpio it's this energy. You've seen something clearly. You've recognized something to end the cycle and begin a new one. And that that notification is a sign for you guys. This always comes up when I'm saying something that spirit is like, yes, and amplify that. So the world card again is new beginnings, new cycles. It also is a yes card. So if you are wondering if something was going to happen or, you know, turn out in a certain way, this is a good card for that um it's a glow up but it's happening only because you're being set free because you're seeing something now can i see what what is this enlightenment coming through as what is this enlightenment what is it that their scorpio is seeing clearly now five of cups this is interesting this could be someone who's a bit miserable someone who's a bit immature who you know focuses more negative than positives all right, but again, this could be your own mindset. Maybe you're realizing that you've been holding on too much to what's gone wrong in your life or what, you know, does not go your way. And you've not been looking at what the potential is. Whatever you're doing, whatever your focus has been on has not been very good for you. Um, so what's happening now is the seven of, uh, sorry, eight of wands, which is moving in the right direction and change. Wild card. Here we go. Confidence coming through for you. All right, feeling attractive, feeling like flirting with life is what I'm feeling here, is what I want to say. So you guys could change your looks, you could do something different to your hair. I'm seeing you changing your style. I'm seeing you feeling, maybe changing if you if you wear makeup, changing your makeup. Like I'm seeing like you're flirting with life. You're feeling a little bit more seductive. I don't know what that energy is. Maybe you are like, you know, getting ready. If you're single, wanting to be in a relationship, you're feeling like going on dates more. For others of you, this could be in terms of your career. Like, I want to try this and I want to try that. Like, I'm just getting this beautiful, creative, ambitious energy about you in whatever degree. Like, you're no longer in an emotional thing. You're getting your fire back here, Scorpio, and, and that's helping you to start a new chapter. So it feels like you're removing anything that stops you from being that way. You're not going to dim your light for other people. Some of you may be recognizing that other people might have been holding you down a little bit or, you know, I'm going to clarify the mending and the round and round energy. What's this cycle, please? The devil. Nine of swords. For some of you, it is like fears. It's fears that have been holding you back. It's a fearful energy that's been causing you to get, like, keep involved in some sort of toxic cycle. All right. Something that's made you worry a lot. Or it could just be a worry mindset, you know, overthinking things to the max. You will come out of this. Like that Knight of Wands and Queen of Wands energy is very flirtatious. It, it understands it's safe. 
and maybe you guys have not been feeling safe or for some of you this is a toxic connection like i've been saying someone's gonna say something and you're gonna go you're a hater like you're actually a hater <laughs> i need to move away let's clarify this one more time what's the devil energy here for i want wounded warrior it does feel like you're seeing something someone is a bit defensive around you three of swords again this could be somebody who you know is toxic someone that you've been in a cycle with before and now you're saying no to you're defending yourself but someone is very look at his face like it's like someone's very like either judgmental or kind of like just jealous i'm picking up on why is the mending card here for all, it's because you're healing it doesn't have to be with this person this is you kind of healing the the pains and the difficulty that you've been through in the past okay The devil energy some of you may be like a scarcity mindset or someone who is a bit stuck in their life and again if that five of cups is somebody else it could be someone who is stuck where they are and have been in that way for a while this person is not really capable of change at the moment and that's what you're recognizing and moving away from that's that round and round it's a karmic cycle definitely a very big lesson to learn about some about the company that you keep they're saying Anyway, you are breaking free from this. And this could even be, again, your own sense of self. Being too anxious to move forward. Being protected. Being guarded. Feeling like no one can take anything from me. So I'm going to hold on tightly so it never happens. You know, And then that way we live a life of fear. We live a life of feeling stuck. A life of scarcity. Not believing in an abundance. Because we're so fearful that everything's going to be taken from us. That it's just going to go. You know, So we have to hold on. This limits your growth. This makes you feel stuck. This makes you feel like you're always going to go through some sort of challenge and second guessing everything and it ruins your happiness, you know, so you are removing that, which is good and you're healing, which I love. All right. Any more advice for Scorpio? Five of Swords again. You are releasing things that have not been equal. You are focusing a lot more, maybe your routines, your, your career. Some of you are getting a bonus. All right. It feels like it's when you release something, you do actually get a bit of a surprise here. Things start to balance themselves out here. You're recognizing who is actually false around you, by the way. People who demand your attention, you know, who don't need to. This person here, that red thing in their pocket is supposed to be, you know, um, they already have what they need, but they might be still wanting from you or taking from you, you know? Careful of your finances as well, like with giving to people. It's a very charitable energy. Just make sure we're giving to the right things. Um, but anyway, once you walk away from something, detach from it, it does feel like something balances itself out and then you get some good news. Page of Wands. All right. Anyway, let's get you some of these as well for you, Scorpio. Page of all right that's a lot let's just deal with that <laughs> we will say them all so we are you're about to be bombarded with a lot of uh, cards here so these are random but this says stars guaranteed success you do a vase secret admirer we have pin new job career you have desk so asking you to pay more attention to your work caterpillar things will not always be this way a change is coming dogs getting together with friends rooster with that message an arrogant boastful person that you should should not cross again some of you have a friend who's not very you know they're a bit jealous of you al good advice from a wise person horse short journey wall misunderstanding bag <laughs> something important such as a new job or raise we have that skull hidden secrets can harm you it doesn't really harm you but it can mean you know can change some things around you bread period of prosperity and abundance and hand someone in need of assistance and guidance all right anyway <laughs> i love you guys I wish you all the best i send you my love um and my kisses and i hope to see you guys next time all right 